Okay, um, in this video, we are going to see how to prepare uh, data in, in Hecjuras uh, for a Hecras application. So, uh, in, in order to do that, um, the, the Hecjuras is not um, the standalone uh, program. Uh, <coughs> so, we need to have uh, the GIS and uh, the, the uh, format of the Hecjuras we use should be compatible to the GIS uh, version. <coughs> In this case, uh, we have uh, uh, GIS 10 and uh, the, the HEC JORAS uh, is the one compatible with this version. So uh, now we are going to add uh, the digital elevation model data. Okay. So because um, uh, in order to work or in order to uh, convert um, uh, this the data uh, uh, that, that uh, uh, the uh, RAS or the JORAS needs, like the team data, we need to either have the, the elevation uh, uh, data in a form of contour or in a form of uh, uh, dam. Uh, so in this case, we have a dam, and, uh, and and we can create uh, the the thin or triangular regular network from this one. So uh, this is a big area. So we we, we, we need to uh, 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 minimize this and uh, zoom down to some specific region to deal with. So let's let's deal with this smaller part or uh, <coughs> this smaller river, okay? So to do that, uh, you need to clip your file. So you can clip your file in um, uh, with a shape file. You can clip your file with uh, uh, with with um, uh, the polygon shapes, or or you can uh, clip them with uh, with the, the the triangle. So now uh, we're we're going to do it with um, a rectangle, okay? So this is a spatial analyst, um, and under the spatial analyst tool, we have extraction, and then use uh, the extract by triangle, uh, rectangle. Okay, so this is your input raster, and then uh, this is the region we need. Okay, so uh, from this river, uh, the maximum and the minimum x and y value should be found. So, if I consider this the minimum x value, so it is 38.595. 38.595 and um, the maximum one will be uh, from this direction so it, it should be this point so it is 38.773 38.773 uh, and uh, let, let's consider the minimum y as it is this one which is 5.99 um, basically 6 and um, let's consider the top or the maximum y this one which is uh, uh, 6.23 you can view the data from the bottom uh, of your your GIS, um, GIS, GIS uh, toolbar so this is uh, 6.323 6.323 then for, you can save this file anywhere you like and uh, you can ex extract them or you uh, with the rectangle So this is the extract region, and uh, we can avoid this one. Uh, we can only deal with the smaller one. Okay. So um, this is our region of interest, and um, the elevation range is between 1780 uh, to 2025. So this is the river system we are looking forward to work uh, on. So, so um, uh, we should be able to convert this into um, a tin, which is. Uh, this is DEM. DEM is a raster data, which means the rectangular pixels represented by one elevation. And uh, we have to convert to a triangular one, so a regular triangular network. So for that, you can go to Arc Toolbox, and um, then you'll find 3D Analysis Tool, and Conversion, and anchor under Conversion, you have uh, from raster, okay? Then from raster to TIN. Uh, by using this function, we can convert this into TIN. So input your um, raster data, and uh, this is uh, that you can save anywhere you like. And then minimize this value as much as possible uh, to 0 0.05, for example. And uh, maximize this number of points to be created that will increase the accuracy. So say OK. And the GIS is working. And um, 
Once to finalize that, uh, we'll be having uh, the uh, triangular regular network uh, file, um, and, uh, and that will help us to to, to uh, create um, a shape file that we need to export to Hecras. So here it is, so we have our um, uh, triangular network uh, format, and that is uh, the old data we need now, and then we can avoid uh, this one. <coughs> So uh, this is the region uh, where uh, we are going to model in Hecras. Uh, so uh, if, if you want that, you have to first uh, find the river streamlines and uh, uh, the the uh, the banks of your river and all those uh, sorts of things. So. Um, Let's deal with uh, this one. So, in order to create uh, uh, the the uh, uh, rust geometry, we have hex rust, uh, hex rust here. So, uh, this is a hex rust geometry. Then create a layer. So, the most important features we need to create here is one is the streamline, the second one is uh, the the flow passes, the bankers, and uh, the fourth one is uh, the um, the fourth one is the the cut lines or the cross-sectional cut lines. So um, we we need to we need to um, we need to um, extract those uh, shape files, and uh, before that we have to create them and uh, then digitize it. So here is the create class, then create streamlines. This will create the the stream uh, flow line. Uh, so before you proceed with this one, you need to save your file. Okay. So save uh, the bus, um, that's right, two, okay, let's replace it, and then now we need to, uh, we need to create the rust geometries. So uh, this is the, the rust geometry, then create a streamline, and say okay, this is the river. It is created. This will only be finalized after you digitize it. So that is what it says here. And then you can create again the uh, bank lines. Okay, you can say okay. Yeah. And uh, you can also create uh, the 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 uh, flow passes yeah. here. And uh, and again, you can create uh, the the cross section cut lines uh, here. Create the cross section cut lines. So these are the the four important parameters we need.
So in order to start editing or to start digitizing, uh, you will say start editing and uh, from this you can select river, we start with the river and say ok. Then here are uh, the, the parameters to be digitized, select your river, select this one as is the point uh, uh, editor, the, the uh, linear editor, so you start digitizing the lower elevations uh, which is colored by water color. So let's digitize it up to this point that is good enough uh, for example. So when you finish it, double click and uh, okay. then uh, this is your river line, central river line. Mm -hmm. And then now uh, you have to uh, go to stop editing and then it asks you to save this edited file. Say yes and uh, so then the river has been digitized. Okay. And then the next is uh, go to start editor again. Then uh, now you have to edit the banks and say OK. OK, and then uh, select the bank and this will be active. And then you have to edit the banks from the left side, for example, this way. Double click when you finish it. So this is a uh, bank line, and then one left bank line. So you have to do the same thing on the right side. Okay. You can double click it when you finish. Then this is a bank line, so you see the red lines, so they represent the bank lines. And if you want to save them, say stop editing and then yes, and then the file will be saved at the left bank and at the right bank. So you have created the left bank, you have created the right bank, you have created the river system. Now we need to create the flow passes, whole flow passes. So for that again, go to start editing and then flow passes, then Okay, then you have to select the flow passes here and then start digitizing on the left and the right bank. So consider this to be your flow pass. Okay, so this is the left flow pass, and then do the same thing for the right. Okay. The flow passes are the maximum range through which the, the water can flow. So you can finalize by double clicking. So now you have created uh, the, the uh, all the threes, and now we left with the, the last one. For this one, say stop editing, and then say yes. And um, now uh, you can you can start editing uh, for the the cut cut lines or cross sectional cut lines. For that, say you start editing the cross sectional cut lines, and say okay. Then you have to select the cross sectional cut lines, and then you can select the cross sections. And double click it, and then select the cross section. Double click it, select the cross section. Double click it, select the cross section. Double click it. So do that throughout the reach.
so now we have finalized the cross sectional cut lines and uh, you can stop editor and uh, save the file okay. now the file has been saved you can avoid uh, the this one and uh, also uh, you can see now um, the the, uh, the the digitized map so the central line indicates the river so you can uh, this is this indicates your flow pass uh, you can change this flow pass to black for example and increase the thickness this is the flow pass and this is the bank you can increase the thickness too and uh, this is the river streamline the center one indicates the river streamline the others are the cross section cut lines that you have uh, you have obtained so um, now uh, one uh, main advantage is you can export this rust data so say export rust data and then uh, this is this is uh, where it is going to be saved practice section a so i can change that folder so if i can change it to d c if i can save it in here so practice bring them say okay it will export all the data uh, that we have created and RAS data has been successfully created and you can see okay then uh, this is how uh, we create a file in heck heck your RAS and export it to heck RAS. so this file is a GIS file you can open it in uh, your your uh, you can open it in your your heck RAS and then do the rest of the analysis as per it is needed. So this is all about how to export data uh, from HECRAS Hec to uh, HECRAS.